Virginia closed its regular season with a win over Maryland. The Cavaliers head to next week's ACC tournament down in Charlotte, riding a two-game winning streak. Now, Virginia got a win at Charleston the other night, and then today they beat Maryland for the second time this season. Corey Alexander, the sophomore, up and in. He's playing well. The Cavs are playing pretty well, but they need a strong showing in the ACC tournament to assure themselves of an NCAA bid. Elsewhere, Wake Forest looking good for an NCAA bid after beating NC State by 12. Bethel High School continued its domination of the Eastern Region sports scene tonight. The Bruins, who won the state football title, collected the region basketball crown as they whipped Norcom before a packed house at Churchland High School, and they saw some spectacular plays by Allen Iverson. Three of his game highs, 39 points. The guy is just a junior. His teammate, Tony Rutland, had 25. And then watch the move by Iverson. The crowd was loving it. Bethel wins it by 12. They go to the state tournament as the number one seed from the East. Norcom advances as the number two seed. And girls play tonight. Phoebus defeated Menchville for the fourth time this season. But they're both heading to the state tournament as well. The Hampton Roads Admirals are still on their longest road trip of this season. Tonight, the Travels took them to Raleigh. And they lose, make that they win over the Ice Caps by a score of 2-1. to one. The Admirals return home finally on Wednesday night. And in golf, uh, make that in racing this afternoon. Tomorrow, the Pontiac 400 with Ken Schrader sitting on the pole position. Today, though, it was the Grand National 200 miler, the Hardy 200, and Mark Martin was your winner. He wins it by about a half a second. But Martin in a Ford averaged just over 103 miles an hour, and he'll have to be a contender tomorrow, but the front runner has to be pole sitter Kenny Schrader. Now on to golf, where the big battle is between the Shark and the Blue Monster. And so far, the Shark is winning out in a big way. Greg Norman has a five-shot lead at the Doral Open after his record-tying round of 10 under par 62. Now, Norman tied his own course record. He began the day with a couple-shot advantage, and then he just ran away from the rest of the field. Now, Paul Azinger is next at 16 under par, but he's got to feel like he's losing major ground while he's playing great golf. So, the Shark is winning there, but uh, great news for Whitaker. Close fight. We'll hope to have highlights for you tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, but uh, certainly... A big win for him and a and tough loss for the Monarchs. Does ODU stand a chance to still get in? A remote chance to get in the NCAA tournament. Remote at best. NIT a much better shot, but uh, okay. they had not expected to lose this game tonight. Tough break. Don't go away. We'll introduce you to one special lady who's celebrating an amazing birthday. Stick around. <laughs>